Today I want to talk about a topic that is not well known by a lot of people. Uh, this topic I find personally very interesting and it's basically can we revive an extinct species and possibly change the earth as it is right now? So before we go into this topic, we need to understand a little bit about genetic engineering. So genetic engineering is basically the manipulation of genes through the use of biotechnology. So what scientists basically do is they edit or delete a copy of the gene in the person's DNA. As you may know, the gene is what makes up our living characteristics, our eye color, our hair color, everything about us. So, this is, so changing the gene individually changes what we do. Um, another part, so what are the examples of genetic engineering? So first of all, one big one is GMOs. You guys might have heard of GMOs. GMOs are genetically modified organisms. You guys might have heard of golden rice. Golden rice is a type of GMO for people with vitamin A deficiency. So there's a high intake of vitamin A to help these people cope with their disorder. Um, another example of genetic engineering is cloning. Now cloning is a very controversial topic that I don't want to get into, as it's very ethical. It involves the destruction of embryo and the loss of life. But I just want people to understand that there are many pros and cons of this. For example, cloning technology could possibly extend a human's lifespan. So that's, that's really important for us, especially nowadays. But one of the major benefits of genetic engineering is particularly curing diseases. So curing diseases like cancer, hemophilia, diabetes, heart disease, all those can be cured through genetic engineering. And this is one of the limitless possibilities of this field. And this is going to take us into a whole new realm of health and well-being. Now, before I dive into the topic of resurrection, we need to talk about a little bit about woolly mammoths. What is a woolly mammoth? So, woolly mammoths are an extinct relative of our elephants today. If you guys have watched the Ice Age films, you guys might have heard of Manny. Um, this is like an accurate depiction of woolly mammoths. So, they are extremely humongous creatures related to Asian elephants. They have long tusks, very long fur, and they, if they're brought back, they would be the largest mammal on Earth right now. So this animal, though, became extinct during the Ice Age, around 11,500 years ago, due to the Earth heating up, because obviously we're not in the Ice Age anymore, and also partly because of us humans. We killed these animals for their food, their meat, their fur, their tusks as trophies. So now, no more woolly mammoths. Um, so let's now talk about the actual process of how you can revive a dead mammal. So basically what scientists use is something called CRISPR. CRISPR is a gene editing technology that basically rewrites the code of life. So it alters the characteristics of a living organism. So what scientists are gonna do is they're gonna get the genes of an Asian elephant because that's a descendant of a woolly mammoth. And when they do this, they're going to alter the characteristics by making an upward of 50 DNA changes in this organism. Now this cell, this, this cell will be genetically modified and implanted into an embryo. And this embryo then implanted into the fetus of a female Asian elephant. Then thus, once this Asian elephant gives birth, it's going to give birth to a woolly mammoth believe it or not. Uh, so scientists, so I first heard about this resurrection story uh, while reading a book titled Wooly. Uh, as you can see here, this is Dr. George Church, and this, this book, Wooly, basically follows the story of this doctor. If you might not know him, he's a professor of health and sciences and technology at MIT and Harvard. Uh, it follows the story of him and a group of scientists who are working to create hybrid cells and embryos to basically resurrect a woolly mammoth. Now basically what I want to talk about is different places where this is occurring. 
South Korea. So South Korea, there's a place called Soam Biotech Research Foundation, and they're using cloning, the controversial topic of cloning, to, to create a woolly mammoth. A couple years back, they found a woolly mammoth sealed in the ice for thousands of years. It was a carcass, and there was blood of a woolly mammoth in it, and DNA, so that made it very, 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 very interesting. Another thing is, in Russia, there's a millionaire, actually, called Sergei Zimov. So Sergei Zimov actually created something like place, called Pleistocene Park. Pleistocene Park, it's kind of like a Jurassic Park, but imagine a Jurassic Park, instead of dinosaurs, it's woolly mammoths instead. So once woolly mammoths are revived, this is a place where they will stay, and this is a place where they will spend their entire life on since it's located in Siberia, in the Arctic, and it's their natural habitat. Uh, I want to talk about now something else. As you guys are sitting there, you might be thinking about, yes, this is interesting, but how would this affect me? Why is this important in any way possible? Well, there's one answer to this, and that is global warming. Uh, this is now a very prevalent issue. I think it's so prevalent that now we just regard it as a minor thing and we just forget about it. But basically, our Earth is heating up, our planet is dying, our planet is dying, our forests are disappearing, sea levels are rising, and soon many coastal cities around the Earth will soon be underwater. And yet, despite all this, we still fail to make any major efforts into this issue. So, believe it or not, woolly mammoths can have actually a phenomenal impact on this crisis. So, what they basically do is, woolly mammoths are large creatures, and large creatures who are in the Arctic tundra can help actually stop the rate of the earth, of the ice melting. So, as you may know, the ice contains a lot of carbon dioxide that is being released into the atmosphere, which is a major part of global warming, so they can actually reduce this by creating insulation. Um, so, if we bring back woolly mammoths, we could give ourselves the necessary time that we need to make changes for our Earth and to prevent it from any disaster happening. Uh, so basically what I want to do is, I want to end this talk with a message to you. I hope through this talk with you that you understand that our planet is dying. I hope you understand that the planet that we are destroying is dying and is facing imminent destruction. And I hope, I hope, I sincerely hope that through this talk with you that you would do something for our planet. Thank you.